you you have this uh, uh, this this way of trying to generate a sense of frustration, and then everything from that sense of frustration is just a modulation of it, and then you just call that structure. I mean, you have a certain way you set up a situation in which frustration can exist, and then you pretend that what you produced. Well, I don't know. Sometimes, out of frustration, the most creative things happen. If you let it go, it's not chaos. Kind of, uh, connective. Uh, um, it's like the lower lip. I mean, uh, it has to pop on that. You know, that there has to be some. Oh, I don't know. Interrelationship. In a relationship. I, I did uh, not get that. Made. I mean, otherwise, the duality. Of duality. The one well, archetypes are interesting thing. I've actually read a lot about. Archetypes and you know. but uh, the most interesting text cited to me, you know, on this very subject, uh, because I see you take that text in the sense of the most generalized sense. Uh, but these were historical texts as well. They were texts that consisted of symbols and signs that apparently no one has ever satisfactorily deciphered. And it's odd because of all of the John D. charts, you know, that people thought I would know something about it. And it's strange. There is well, they, they did think that because you've been known to have like been interested in an angelic conversion. There was a time when I had a lot of need for things like that, when I felt like there was a constant need for more symbols, more signs, because I had to come up with ever finer gradations. <laughs> A subtle distinctions between one block. Right. Well, in the details, that's the most interesting. It's a major problem still in the articulation of non-vocal music. What about vocal music? 